Yo, what's up guys? This is Goldmine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your OBS studios so you can record and live stream on it. So the first thing you want to do before you even start, if you already have OBS studios downloaded, check to see if you have the correct version. And what I mean by that is there's an option where you can download OBS studios with a browser plugin already like installed with the software. I'd recommend you install that version of OBS studios if you want to get a little more serious into streaming and have alert boxes from CLR browser and stuff like that. After you do that, just open up OBS Studios. And if you're starting out fresh, you shouldn't have anything in your scenes or sources. We're going to start off by creating our scenes and sources. So right click in the scenes box, click add, name it whatever you want. Then right click in the sources area and go to add. And then we're just going to do to where you can see the entire screen. So you would go to display capture name it whatever you want click ok and the first display that it's going to show is display zero and the resolution of the display now it's actually not showing up for me because i am using a program to capture my main monitor but i do have multiple monitors so if i were to switch to the second one you'd be able to see my second monitor so click ok to capture your first monitor and like i said for me it's a black screen because i am using another program to capture my main monitor after that then you want to go into settings go into the stream tab make sure the stream type is selected on streaming services choose the site that you are streaming on most people are going to be on twitch of course choose the server that is closest to you and this is the area where you're going to put your stream key in click apply and then go to output immediately go to the output mode where this tab is right here and make it on advanced you can use simple but for me personally i'd prefer advanced the reason for this is because you can have different settings for both your streaming and recording my settings as of right now i would stream in 720p but i'd be recording in 1080p so we're going to start off with the streaming tab check your audio track to number two and the reason for that is because i like having the recording audio track on number one for the encoder you do want to have it on x264 you want to have enforced streaming service encoder settings i always recommend you have the rescale output checked and this is so you can have custom resolutions like i said i have a 1920 by 1080p monitor so i can capture in 1080p quality but for streaming i'm going to be downscaling it to 720p because honestly who needs 1080p when you're not partnered on twitch now the bit rate can be a little tricky i'll put a link in the description to some recommended bit rates for the quality that you're going to be streaming at i think a minimum bit rate that you need if you're going to be streaming in 720p is 2000 so just use the website that i linked in the description that best fits you but for me personally 2500 is fine and do keep in mind you do have to have the upload speed speed to actually have that kind of bit rate. So 2500 bit rate is using 2.5 megabytes of your upload. So if you only have three upload or even less than that, just keep that in mind and maybe you should have your bit rate a little bit lower. No need to have a custom buffer size for streaming at least. So just uncheck that. Have the keyframe interval as two. I don't really know why, but everyone who uses this either uses zero, which is auto or two. I personally like two auto can be a little sketchy sometimes have used cbr checked and for the cpu usage preset i have mine defaulted to very fast the higher up you go so anything above very fast like super fast or ultra fast the quality is a lot worse but it is a lot lighter on your computer obviously going the other way where it's slower the quality is going to look a lot better but your computer is going to get hammered you don't need a profile and you don't need a tune and that's basically all you need for the streaming section. So just click apply and go to the recording tab. The type, we're just going to leave that as standard. Have your own recording path. So just go to browse and then like pick the desktop or whatever folder you want to save your recordings at. This is just personal preference. I don't really need this. Now, if you're on a PC, 99% of the time you want to have your recording formatted to MP4. If you're on a Mac, MP4 is fine, but you can also have the files saved at MP4. MOV. Again, audio track one if you're following my exact steps. Do keep in mind though, do not have your audio tracks 
on the same track for streaming and recording. Encoder is going to be the same, X264. And again, choose whatever resolution you want. If you want to stream in 1080p, then of course you have to do 1920 by 1080p. I'll put a link in the description to some bit rates. Basically, the website gives you some recommended bit rates for the resolutions that you'd be streaming or recording on. The recommended bit rate for 1080p 60fps is at around 8,000. So I just did 8,196 just to round it up. For recording, you do want to have a custom buffer size and you want to set that buffer size to zero. Next, you want to make sure CBR is unchecked and you could leave it defaulted to 23. We have the CPU usage preset again. I have mine defaulted to very fast, but maybe in the future, depending on what I'm recording, I could lower it to faster or fast. Mileage may vary for you if your computer isn't as fast as mine. And I actually have no idea why this was typed here. That was an old CRF code for regular OBS. Click apply and now we can go over to the audio tab. Remember when we set streaming and recording to two different tracks? The reason why we did this is because, well, obviously so we can have more audio tracks so we can change the audio bitrate of one. Since my recording audio track is on number one, we want the highest bitrate possible. And since my computer can handle it, I'm going to have the highest audio bitrate for streaming as well. Obviously, this could be different for you if your computer isn't as fast. So now we're going to go over to the audio tab. Sample rate is just the same, 44.1. We're going to have the channels of stereo. For your desktop audio, you do want to choose, you know, whatever you're using. You don't want to have it on default because it's not going to actually record the desktop audio. For your mic, obviously you're going to want to select something and not have it selected as default because it's going to do the same thing. It's not going to pick up any audio. Now we're going to go over to video. You're going to want the base canvas resolution as 1080p and the output scaled resolution as 720p. For most people, bicubic is fine for downscale filter, but again, if your computer is slow and you don't mind having worse quality, then go with the fastest but blurry if scaling. Now over here is where you can change your FPS. If you're tired of recording 30 FPS and you actually wanna get some 60 FPS quality gameplay, have it on common FPS values and just select 60. Again, this is all up to you. Hot keys are all personal preference. Just just remember the only thing you really need to pay attention to is switch scene for each of the scenes that you have and when you go into advanced video and renderer you have two options always go with the newest direct x i have no video adapter so mileage may vary for you and basically just keep everything else defaulted just another tip to mess with your audio settings go to mixer and this little cog right here and make sure for both your mic and desktop the audio tracks are all selected here then obviously the volume may be different for you and if you want to start streaming just click start streaming and if you want to start recording then just click start recording hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe now i'm recording on obs studios so you can see my main screen just showing you guys that obs studios is in fact capturing my screen i know it's a little weird because it's like a mirror thing put it down in the comments below your thoughts on this new software i know obs studios has been out for a little bit but there have been a lot of bugs so that's why i kind of kept my distance but i am really happy with the current build of the software and i hope you guys do too. All right, I'll see you guys later. This is Goldmine, and I'm out.